Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a miniature lecture on chronic inflammatory bowel disease and mal malform uh, malabsorption syndrome, mostly in the canine. Also, these can be applied to the feline, essentially. We are um, inundated sometimes with animals that just cannot, that have chronic diarrhea and they don't seem to respond to any kind of medications, antibiotics or um, dietary peptobismols or what have you essentially, pectin type of um, products and bismuth products essentially, metronidazole, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, doesn't seem to knock it, it's not parasite laden essentially, it's due to the fact that there is actually a lack of blood supply to the digestive system. Now, you must be getting really tired of me blaming this on neurological interference, but these animals are all suffering from lack of blood supply to the celiac artery and the splanchnic artery of the digestive system. They all have reading patterns in their mid-thoracic area essentially and they all respond to rehabilitation of those neurological interferences using an adjusting instrument. Keep in mind that this instrument will take a switch that's flipped off and flip it back to the onside. So when we go through with the somatovisceral therapy, we basically go through in a fashion which we describe in module four, essentially extensively, on how to actually adjust these animals somatoviscerally and optimize their dysautonomia or in fact their problem associated with malabsorption syndrome and chronic inflammatory bowel disease, essentially. This particular condition, very common in the human being, also is held in place by lack of adequate amount of blood supply to the digestive system. There's another uh, th uh, problem too associated with this for chronic uh, malabsorption syndrome and also a uh, lack of, of uh, blood supply to the system. So what we'll do with these animals is we adjust them in normal fashion. We should describe that in uh, the VOM.com uh, website. And also the somatovisceral therapy is added to this and this alone can be enough to put the blood supply back into the gut. And when the blood supply in the gut is actually functioning correctly, the gut heals itself quite nicely. It takes about three to five days really for it to come back reasonably to normal essentially, unless there's in fact an autoimmune phenomenon that's occurring. And this is kind of important. We'll talk about this with other autoimmune disease conditions. But what happens when we have chronic degradation of neurological, um, of gastrointestinal tissue such as the jejunum at the epithelial level due to lack of blood supply, the, the, those tissues break down and all of a sudden become antigenic to the body and the body says, whoa, this, ta this, this product, I'm sorry, this, this tissue essentially is not of ourselves anymore and starts to react against it in an autoimmune type of response. And so the problem we can rehabilitate by actually readjusting uh, the uh, neurological activity to the GI tract and increasing the blood supply or rec recurring the blood supply back to the system. And that's fine. That can solve the problem. But if it holds itself in place, there might be an autoimmune component that we have to actually uh, discharge. Now, suppressing the animal with immune mediated disease, uh, with immune mediated uh, products that are immune compromising or immune suppressive is just asking for another problem and an over infection of the bowel so we're able to actually utilize a series of frequencies that we utilize to specifically um, uh, uh, treat these animals for treat these animals for an autoimmune type of condition. We use 887.5, 73.24, 667, and 666, and 343. These are the normal frequencies that we use to treat autoimmune phenomena. So we would treat with the uh, laser for a gut problem, like for instance in the dog, we would treat the animals as colon, 20, jejunum, 96, stomach, 83, and essentially um, the digestive system in general for 216 essentially to optimize the parasympathetic input to that uh, tissue to try to rehabilitate those tissues. And it can do a very good job. Sometimes we use 363 also for epithelial tissue because the inside of the gut is actually uh, not really inside the gut. The epithelial tissue inside the gut wall essentially in the mucosa is actually superficial or epithelial tissue. So our approach to treating this condition is to do the somatovisceral therapy on these animals and we may or may not use laser. A lot of times what we'll also do is we'll always put these animals on an enzyme supplement. Do not use Viocase. Viocase is used in the veterinary community as a enzyme supplement. Big mistake essentially. We do not use that because it burns the tongue. We use a product that we've actually created here and you can get through Health Tech Industries. Health Tech Industries can be reached at 88-800 888-4550. Tell the uh, person that answers the phone, who's a doctor, um, uh, Dr. Mark will answer the phone most probably and send you a bottle of this product or send you some of this product to do this. We should have the animal on this for at least two months. It's, it's a small powder. You take it here, put it in the diet. You don't have to wait for the diet to um, 
absorb it. You just throw it in the food and feed it. And what that does is allows the animal digestive enzyme enough to uh, give the pancreas essentially and other organs a break as far as creating digestive enzymes. So we use that. Very commonly after two months we can take them off of all that type of stuff and the animal's fine. Some people choose to keep the animal on the uh, vetzyme. It's inexpensive for the rest of their lives, which means that they're going to be able to absorb all the food that they in fact are fed, which is a very good thing. So we use those for malabsorption syndromes. We use them that product also and these therapies also for chronic inflammatory bowel disease that we see in the kitty cat and also in the, in the um, uh, in the dog, we don't see this particular problem in the horse. Um, I would encourage you to go to the bombtech.com website and uh, look up some more of the information about why this technology works. We'll show you how to do it, why it works, and how to apply it in your practice for free. And although this sounds like a used car salesman um, promotion, essentially, we would have you uh, consider using this particular product. I don't sell this product. Essentially, it is sold by Health Tech Industries. And it solves a huge amount of problems for us, which is why we actually recommend it. I'm Dr. Inman. This has been about chronic inflammatory bowel disease and also uh, malabsorption syndrome. Uh, thank you and have a great day.